All right, subscribers, so look, check this out. Did you know that narcissistic family members are so happy to be related to you? Did you know that narcissistic friends are so happy to have a friendship with you? The reason why narcissistic family members are so happy to be family with you is because they know how it, if you allow it, it hurts you so bad. The fact that you don't have a family member that is supporting you the way they should be supporting you. Because a loving brother and a loving sister always look out for each other. And a loving mother and a loving father always nurture their kids and make sure that they're being the best parents that they could possibly, you know, provide that relationship for their kids. The toxic narcissist sits on their throne and they're happy that they're your family. See, they know what you are being deprived of. A good, loving mother. A good, caring father. A good, caring cousin. A good... So... With them being so evil and fitting that role and you never having that, they literally get a high off of that, ladies and gentlemen. A rise off of that. Ain't that sad? The fact you don't have... You're such a good person, but you just don't have the team of people that should be around you. Instead, it's the narcissist. And they love sitting there and hobbering, hobbling up that role of the evil mom, the evil dad. Because the good mom, the good dad, the way the narcissist feel is, oh, you'll never get that. <clears throat> yeah, I bet you won't never get that. Because you got to deal with the fact that I mean, and you know what? They know. Good. Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. I had to say these—they know what they—they they know the effects that it have on a person that really is family oriented. You see what I'm saying? But see, me—that's why they're so upset with me because they know they can hold out long as they want to and continue to be toxic. That don't affect me. You move your ass on. I'm not waiting on you to change. Because one thing, two things for show, I know you're going to bust hell wide open when it's time for you to go. You get what I'm saying, ladies and gentlemen? That's the way I feel about the situation. That's why I tell you guys to go on. I encourage you subscribers, please don't let it get the best to you. Don't think about these people over and over. If a person ain't thinking about you, then the hell with them. Yeah, sometimes they might flow through your mind and everything, but don't let it eat you up. Continue moving on. Continue pressing on. Because at the end of the day, you know the person that you are. And a lot of people like to try to punish you by taking their presence away from you. Bitch, goodbye. Because at the end of the day, you didn't love me. You can't say you love me enough anyway. Because you would leave. You would walk out my life. You wouldn't want to be a part of me. But guess what? Maybe that was for, for the best because you're toxic. You see what I'm saying, ladies and gentlemen? You see how this works? These narcissistic bitches will sit right there and be the evil brother, the evil sister. The, and they, what they be thinking in their mind is, oh, I know it's going to get to them one way or the other. It's going to get to them. It's going to get to them the fact that they don't have a good mama. It's going to get to the fact that they don't have a good father. I be want to say no. You guys are just getting older and older. And at the end of the day, what was said and said, what was said is, was said and done and done. And when it's time for you to go, don't you expect me looking for funeral arrangements because we're not doing that. Don't you expect me to, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, I hate to say it, but might not even attend a funeral. 
And if I did do it, it would just be to be nosy. Tuh. Child. Y'all, y'all got to know that you know that you know.